Okay, so once you've done that, it should look like, look like this. Like I say, you need six of them. So you take two of them, line them up, make sure they're facing the right way, and then put them on top of each other so the front's facing each other, if that makes sense. Okay, so you just line them up, make sure the holes are in the same places, so they're perfectly lined. And we're just going to sew them together. So you get a bit of your yarn on a needle, then you want to start right in the very corner of the two. You just go straight through both pieces, and then you have to tie a knot at the end. Okay, so you just pull it through. Don't do what I do, and just pull it straight through. That's silly. <laughs> okay, so you want to pull it through. Not too much though. You want to be at the end. <laughs> okay, so just tie a couple of knots in the end to tie it up and then we just basically sew along the side keeping it lined up it's quite important to keep it lined up because if not the bag comes out a bit wonky so just make sure the holes are lined up you just go through both of them come out the other side and once you've done that, just go through it again and just do a simple stitch all the way along the side. This bit shouldn't take too long because it's just a simple stitch. So just carry on doing that all the way along whilst keeping it level. And I just probably repeat that about three times. Must keep it level. <laughs> okay. So once you've done that, you just tie it off at the ends and um, just open it up, stretch it out a bit, just pull it and then it will soon flan itself out after you've done that a couple of times and uh, blurry! Damn camera! That gives me a headache. There you go. Okay, so once you've done that, then you just line up another one next to it and another one and another one and then just sew them together the same way okay so once you've done that you'll end up with this and you just pin a bit of black fabric to the back wow that's blurry Whoa. so just pin a black fabric to the back and you just basically want to sew around the edges of it just use a simple um, stitch now the bits we had all dangly bits of um, yarn and everything, just trim them down a bit. Then when you go around the side, just tuck them underneath the um, fabric as you're sewing around the sides to hide them. So you just tuck them in like that and then just carry on sewing around the outside. Okay, so when you're finished, you'll end up with something that looks like this and now we just need to make it into the purse ok so you need to fold it three times god really what's wrong with my camera <laughs> there we go ok so you need to fold it over so you've got the bottom half and then the top flap ok so just find out where you want it I want it 8 pop tabs like um, tall for the actual main bit of the purse or bag whatever you want to call it okay so then this is again is just get another bit of thread on a, a needle and you just sew on the sides up so you just put that through oh sorry my throat's feeling a bit sore now <laughs> so you just pull it through and tie a knot In and again just do a simple stitch along the side you'd be surprised actually how well the, the, um, the simple stitches hold up for this bag because it's still quite strong obviously depending on what kind of thread or yarn you're using I think if you were to use a proper kind of really thin yarn, uh, thread then it wouldn't hold so well Okay, 
Okay, so you just do that all the way up along the side of the bag. Obviously, you have to do this both sides. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it. Then we just have to add a fastener to the end of it. Okay, so once you get to the top, you want to come back down on yourself to go down to the end again. Then you can tie the knot off better. So you just tie it to the original bit you had. Do that a couple of times. Or three times. <laughs> and then you just want to kind of put the needle back through the bag in between like the bag and the lining. Just put the needle right down through it and then just come out random place. <laughs> Pull it through and then just cut off the excess. Because if you just cut it off like right near the knot, the knot's likely to come undone. So you just get the other bit, put the needle on, and do the same. And like I say, just sew up the other side as well. Okay, and this is what you're left with. And now you just need to add a fastener. You could just use a, like a button and add a hole to it or something. But I'll be using the um magnetic clasp these yeah they're just these I find them really easy to attach okay so I just see where I want to put it I want it to go in the middle so what I do is I tend to put it on the outside so I can see where the little tongue bits are going to come through so I just cut a couple of little tiny holes so let the little tongue bits can come through so I know what it's going to be okay so then I take this bit back out and then I place it through the holes so it's like that and then you need to get the back for it which is just like this then you place it on top and then you want to bend over those little sticky outy bits <laughs> okay so like that the first one's always easier to fold than the second one <laughs> for some reason here to just make sure you keep it pressed down so it's nice and tight you push over now it might not be flat so you might need to get some pliers or something just to like squeeze it to make it as you can see they're sticking up so you just get some pliers squeeze it so it goes flat like that okay so once you need done that you just have to put one on the bottom part of the purse okay so I usually attached the bottom part fold it over so I can see exactly where I want it to go or roughly where I want it to go So then I take it back off the bottom part and I just place it where I want it to go then once I've got it in place I have to cut a couple of more holes where the tongs go through careful not to chop your finger off <laughs> This can be a bit fiddly when you're doing the inside bit. As you can see, having trouble. Can't even get on camera. <laughs> okay, so once we've done that, the little edges have come through. Do exactly the same. Place the backing on. Then you fold over the two edges. And then these stay in place really well, these ones. They're quite easy to attach, and like I say, they work really well. Okay, so once you've done that, you're done with your purse. Oh, sorry, shaky. <laughs> okay, so it should just attach like that. 
and you're finished with your purse. And yeah, it's one of I think the more simple purses. There's some like that are really really th fiddly. So hope you like it. If you make one, don't forget you can post a picture to our website and you can be featured on the website. Here's plenty of room there to fit, fit, your, fit, your, blah, blah, blah. fit your purse and your phone and things. And um, a little clasp on the outside. You can always like glue a button or something on top of there to make it a little bit more pretty. Okay, so have a go yourself and, and show me what you made. Okay, thank you.